Hi, I'm Greg Myron. I'm a minister uh, through Pathways of Light, and I've been a Course in Miracles student for 40 years now. What I'm doing this year is going through the lessons and reading them and asking Jesus to clarify for me. And then I'm writing whatever comes into my mind. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. The lesson we're looking at is lesson 27. Above all else, I want to see. Today's idea expresses something stronger than mere determination. It gives vision priority among your desires. You may feel hesitant about using the idea on the grounds that you are not sure you really mean it. This does not matter. The purpose of today's exercises is to bring the time when the idea will be wholly true a little nearer. And I remember the first time I read above all else I want to see, I felt uneasy. I didn't really think I wanted it above all else. There were so many things in my life that needed attention that I wanted more. Then I read the lesson and had to laugh. Jesus knew this would be my first thought. So I did it anyway. Turns out Myron wanted to fix her life, but I wanted to wake up. I wasn't very much in touch with my true self though. So I didn't know that it, that was what was happening. I just knew I needed to follow directions, even if it didn't make sense to me. No sacrifice is asked, and we're going to learn about that in paragraph two. There may be a great temptation to believe that some sort of sacrifice is being asked of you when you say you want to see above all else. If you become uneasy about the lack of reservation involved, add, vision has no cost to anyone. If fear of loss still persists, add further, it can only bless. In those early days, I really did think a sacrifice was being asked of me. I thought I was doing this work so that my life would be better, and I didn't want to put that off. But again, I did the lesson anyway, even if I was not yet willing to let go of the idea that I had more important goals. I needed to be, I needed to make more money to get married again, to be sure my child was provided for. These goals seemed so vital, but I pushed those thoughts aside at least long enough to do the lesson. Now I can honestly say that nothing matters more to me than vision. So here's our practice. Paragraph three, the idea for today needs many repetitions for maximum benefit. It should be used at least every half hour and more if possible. You might try for every 15 or 20 minutes. It is recommended that you set a definite time interval for using the idea when you wake or shortly afterwards and attempt to adhere to it throughout the day. It will not be difficult to do this, even if you're engaged in conversation or otherwise occupied at the time. You can still repeat one short sentence to yourself without disturbing anything. The real question is, how often will you remember? How much do you want today's idea to be true? Answer one of these questions and you've answered the other. You will probably miss several applications and perhaps quite a number. Do not be disturbed by this, but do try to keep on your schedule from then on. If only once during the day you feel that you were perfectly sincere while you were repeating today's idea, you can be sure that you have saved yourself many years of effort. It is important that we do our best even as we accept that we will not do this perfectly. If we completely understood and our practice was perfect, we would not need A Course in Miracles. It is of value to notice our resistance. In the beginning of my practice, I would sometimes go all day without remembering. I felt a lot of guilt about that and fear that I would never succeed. All that worry was unnecessary. If you failed to do the lessons as asked, recognize it as resistance and give it to the Holy Spirit to heal for you. Then continue your day with more determination and do the best you can. Did you notice that last sentence? 
if only once during the day you feel that you were perfectly sincere while you were repeating today's idea, you can be sure that you have saved yourself many years of effort. With all my heart, I want to see. More than anything, I want to see. In fact, I want clear vision at all times. I know now that seeing with Christ's vision is what matters. And seeing clearly with Christ, I make better decisions and choose God over ego, regardless of the circumstances. That's why I am saved years of effort. Thank you for watching my video. If it was helpful, then please like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow with another lesson.